Hey Bear Climbers, today's episode we're going to talk about carabiners. Let's roll the intro and then I'll say things about them. Carabiners really are the bread and butter of climbing. There's nothing better sounding to a climber than a nice jangling rack of carabiners as he trods his way to the bottom of a cliff, getting ready to start a day of adventure. I could probably distinguish the sounds from a mile away. Anyway, I'll grab the table and we'll talk about them. So first off, what is a carabiner? Well, it's usually made out of aluminum or steel, and we use it as a quick link between gear and our rope or we could use it to carry our gear and yeah this is like client the, the the main fundamental piece of gear everybody needs when climbing so this is right here is actually called an oval carabiner and these things are great for holding gear in my opinion i'll show you how a carabiner works when you're placing gear so you have the carabiner and maybe like a nut like this and you put it on this would go into the rock and then your rope would come and you clip that in like so. And then you'd be safe to fall to here. So that's the main use of carabiners. And an oval, an oval carabiner is great like this to use for carrying gear. I'll show you what I mean. So carabiners really started out looking like this. And this is kind of how they all looked back in the day. This carabiner is actually probably older than I am. And I like these the most now, I use these the most now for carrying because they kind of carry the, the, the gear nicely. And the way carabiners are supposed to be loaded is in this direction. They're never supposed to be cross loaded because then they're only as strong as this little pin in here because once it pulls past that pin, this pin breaks and it comes off. So pulling like this would be called cross loading. You never want to do that. So it's always supposed to be in this orientation. I'll show you what I mean by this. You see this little hook here. Uh, I actually seen people shave this off. You don't want to do that because it holds here. And also the hook could save you from the, all your gear falling off because it could actually, I don't know if you can see it, but it could actually get stuck in there and then your gear won't all fall out. So that, that hook actually serves a couple purposes. Um, I've actually had it stop some gear from falling out way before. I've seen people go like this and all the gear falls to the ground. So anyway, that's kind of a rabbit trail. But yeah, the oval carabiner, the carabiner I like most for holding my gear. Technology has come a long way and so have our carabiners. This is an, also an oval shaped carabiner, but it has a wire gate and you can see it's molded differently. They press these into shape and they're usually lighter and stronger than the older ones. And uh, now they can be shaped in all different kinds of things. This right here is a quick draw. They're on this quick draw here and you can see all the fancy colors and designs. Um, I guess I'll talk about this quick draw while it's here. You see this quick draw has a rubber part right there and it has a non-rubber part. This one's supposed to go into a bolt or something you clip into and this end goes to your rope. That prevents this thing from cross-loading and it, this one is free to move around a little bit more, see, like that. Um, another reason you wanna always keep this one for the rope is to remember to not switch it around because if you're gonna use this on a bolt, it could put some burrs in it. And then if your rope is sliding around, if you put it the other way, if this is all nicked up, then it's gonna damage your rope. So you'd always wanna remember to keep it in the right orientation. Some people put, the gate on this side or the gate on both sides or not but this is a quick draw and uh let's look at some locking carabiners okay locking carabiners so like i showed you earlier you can clip in the main, the main use for the carabiners is to clip your rope in easily and because of that it could also unclip easily if the rope came down like if you went if you put this in the wrong way which would be like that and your rope came down, it can potentially go on the gate like this. And let's see if I can do it. 
and pull it open like that and then unclip. So it, it's possible it could fall down and unclip like that, you see? So that's why, that's why you don't orientate it this way. You orientate the rope toward uh, the back of the cliff here and then towards it. That way when it falls, it doesn't really want to grab that and pull it out like this, you see? So because that's a, such a big problem or such a dangerous problem, some genius decided they were gonna put them cross like this. If you have two crossing carabiners, as good as a locking carabiner, because if it's in both like so, it can't open the gate and come off. So that's as good as a locking carabiner. But then some other brilliant, brilliant man decided they were gonna put a screw on the carabiner. So when you lock this carabiner like this, you'd want, you'd want this uh, screw facing down usually because it would screw down, it'd want to screw down. It would screw like this and now it's locked. The rope can't come and unlock it. However, in my experience, if you had it like the wrong way, the rope can't slide across it and or you just don't pay attention while you're climbing and it just starts to creep its way down. All of a sudden you have an unlocked carabiner. Because of that, some other genius of a man decided to make these. Now this isn't a screw gate, it's more like a spring loaded carabiner and you twist it and then open it. You can actually do this, you grab the spine here of the carabiner, stick your hand over, twist and open. You don't want to see somebody doing this with two hands. I care. You should be able to open a carabiner with one hand just like that. So that's a locking carabiner. It's I don't know exactly what it's even called. I guess it'd be a spring-loaded, actuated, flux capacitating carabiner. Anyway, that's my favorite type of carabiner. However, it does have a tendency, like this old one, to get crusty and stay unlocked like this. So that is also a hazard. This used to be a spring-loaded carabiner, but it's so crusty and old that it, maybe the spring's broken in there or it's just got too much dirt inside from use that it doesn't really stay open anymore. And I'm not sponsored by this company, but I found this on the internet and I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna test it out this summer. It's really cool. It takes this concept of a opposing gates and turns it into here. And it's actually supposed to be stronger than a screw gate or one of these. See, it opens like this. It's got opposing gates like that. Pretty cool, huh? It's just like, I'll show you what I mean. Now, another thing I have to get used to this thing is like I said, you'd want to open these with one hand and I can't really, I mean, I'm kind of doing it. I guess you need some practice, but you'd open it. You probably want it like this way, maybe. You'd open it stick your rope in and then there now it can't can't go this way it can't go this way that's pretty cool so i'm going to be testing this thing out this is like a new uh, it's made by a company called Prevel, and i'll be taking a look at this summer it's pretty cool i'll probably be using this so that's all my locking carabiners here's some honorable mention carabiners this one has a little pulley in it and you really have to know when you want to use this because sometimes less drag might not be something you'd want. Sometimes drag is a good thing, but uh, other times it's not. The person's gonna fall really far and hard. You might want a little bit of drag so that it doesn't rip the belayer right off the sky. Um, but this one has a pulley on it. That's pretty cool. And this one has a little extra locker down here to keep this from cross loading like that. So here's some extra honorable mention strange carabiners. You guys have any other carabiners that are cool looking? Go ahead and send them to me, DM, DM them to me on Instagram or something and I'll take a look at them. I'm always interested in looking at things um, as so are you if you're watching this. Anyway, uh, let's go to the outro. So that's basically everything there is to know about carabiners or everything I know about carabiners, I think. If uh, there's something I missed, go ahead and leave it down in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. Here's my Instagram. And I'll see you in next week's episode. I film one every Saturday. I'll see you guys later.
You thought I wasn't going to climb out of this episode. <laughs> I always climb out of the episodes crazy. That's what it's about. It's a climbing channel. <laughs>